staff console has been around since 1963, so over 50 years, and we're here for staff to help promote them professionally and educationally. I've been with staff console for, I'd say, about 18 years, and for me, I got so much out of it, and I think the staff council members feel the same way. I joined Staff Council because I think we tend to get really into our jobs and a lot of time it's, you know, come to work, you do your job and then you go home. And I found myself kind of needing a little bit more. I wanted that kind of social interaction with people outside of my office. The people on Staff Council are serving type of people and they're really good. It makes my job more worthwhile. You know, sometimes you get bored with the same old daily routine. Well, this takes care of that. We have about four core events that Staff Council holds every year. One of them being uh, Staff Appreciation Week. Staff Appreciation Week is obviously we're appreciating staff, but it's kind of a kickoff to summer. So we always want to do something fun and engaging. Um, not only, you know, events that you can do by yourself, so they have sometimes like painting classes, which is more relaxing, which is really nice after a busy spring. Um, we have the cooking classes, but then we also have things like the basketball game where people get to interact with each other. We really just listen to feedback from staff on kind of what they want to see, what they enjoy. Another one of our events is um, service awards. The service awards takes place during fall conference where we acknowledge all staff for their years of service, starting with 10 years all the way up to 45 years. In addition to that, we also uh, recognize those who have retired, and this is through staff emeritus. And this again is held once a year for those staff who have been on campus for 10 years or more in good standing. We have quite a few that we acknowledge every year. Another event we have is the scholarship, Staff Council Scholarship. And this is really an important event to me because we have uh, staff coming from all directions of campus looking to continue their education. With the help of the President's Office, we award four $300 scholarships to staff uh, trying to get their bachelor's degree, uh, undergrad, or graduate. Well, it's important to support staff on campus. They don't have a lot of money to pay for college or professional development, so a lot of times they get stuck in their position. Well, you know, it's not much, but it helps. One of the new events that staff rolled out last year was Steps for Staff. You know, for a while, like that kind of step craze was going on. People were wanting to count their steps. And everybody's always looking for, you know, time to get some exercise in. So it's just a chance to get out of your office, flex your, you know, muscles and get some steps in, but also meet some other people while you're doing it. I joined Steps for Staff because I truly believe that staff should get out and move, get out of their office, get away from their desk environment and enjoy this beautiful campus. Staff Council is comprised of from anywhere from 20 to 25 members, some active, some non-active. It's volunteer, all based on volunteer. And it's done around their job or during their lunch hours. We have meetings once a month. I encourage you all, if you're interested in networking on campus, this is one of the best ways to do it.